Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to explain about sensors that we typically use in IoT applications. So this is the outline of our presentation, so we're going to uh, explain you about light sensors, temperature sensors, moist sensor, rain sensor, also gas sensor and barometric pressure sensor. And finally we are going to explain also about the radiation sensor and many other alternatives too. So uh, the light dependent resistor, also known as LDR, is a, a resistance that varies uh, depending on the amount of visible light received. So uh, typically we use this sensor to measure the light in our home or in a greenhouse and uh, we typically uh, need not just simply the, the, the resistance uh, provided by the LDR but also another resistance so it acts as a voltage divider as you can see here in the, in the circuit application. Here you can see also the, the, uh, one of the most known uh, modules which is the KIY AT module which already provides all the necessary electronics and three pins for uh, providing the power supply, the ground and the signal itself. Uh, it might require calibration because the relation between the voltage and the luminance is non-linear but this depends uh, on your application. If you really want to measure the luxes you need to calibrate it uh, and, and then it's a different procedure. Uh, then we, we have uh, different kind of uh, temper sensors. We have uh, the THT11 which is a digital sensor and provides the humidity and the temperature in Celsius and with degree precision, so it's not uh, uh, under a uh, degree. And uh, this uses one uh, digital signal for transmitting and receiving data. And here we have, you can find the, the, the KS module, the KY15, which provides again three pins uh, for, uh, for power, ground and the signal itself. Also we have the uh, LM35 uh, sensor which is an analog temperature sensor and uh, the main characteristic it that is that it provides a linear response so it has a resolution of 10 millivolts per uh, degree and the position is uh, quite uh, quite small so it, it means uh, it's, uh, the position is high it means that it, it, uh, the resolution between one measurement and another one it, it's even uh, uh, from 0 0.5 degrees and it has an acceptable range for all the kind of applications that we want to deploy. Also we can find the, the sensor with, uh, from Dallas uh, company which is called the 18B20. It uses a specific interface which is called one wire interface. This interface allows us to put a, several sensors just simply using one wire bus and uh, it measures uh, Celsius and Kevin uh, degrees and also provides handlers for uh, alarms. Uh, here you find also the, the KS module which is the K1001. Then we have the moist sensor, so we use this sensor to, me uh, to measure uh, the, the humidity of the soil and so it's, it, it's just simply an analog output, it provides an analog output so the, the, this uh, signal is proportional to the resistance uh, of changes of, of, the, of the, the soil moist and also uh, together with the, the, the uh, provided electronic we have also a digital um, output so we have a potentiometer that we can adjust and depending on the value we, we set there is an analog comparator in which we can uh, have some kind of threshold and then this we can use this digital output so whenever the humidity is above or below that value the digital output will be high or low correspondingly. So uh, we have also a rain sensor, it's very similar to the previous one. The difference is that we have a, a panel, this panel which uh, basically uh, it's providing some kind of uh, source circuit resistance uh, so depending on the amount of rain uh, that, that you, you are receiving and also provides the analog output and the digital output interface. So the analog output is proportional to amount of raindrops that you are uh, you're getting in the, with this uh, with this sensor. 
and the digital output can be activated or deactivated depending on the, plot, the potentiometer value. So then we have uh, different kind of sensors, they are called MQ gas sensors and they are different type of sensors depending on the gas that we would like to detect. There are many type of gases that they are able to detect like LPG, butane, propane, methane, alcohol, humes, etc. And uh, the basic principle is that they have some kind of uh, aluminum ox oxide uh, ceramic tube and, uh, and a sensitive layer and uh, it has an electrode and, uh, and a heater so it needs sometimes before it's operational uh, and reaches the appropriate temperature to um, really measure the, the appropriate uh, measurement. It is very interesting to, to mention that these kind of sensors they just simply provide an analog output based on, on this um, on the on the uh, on the receive uh, the amount of particles of gas that you are detecting and if you really want to measure uh, the ga a specific gas in uh, particles per million then you need uh, a, a calibration procedure in which you need to uh, basically calibrate it first with a cleaner environment. Then uh, we have also the barometric pressure sensor, it, it, it's able to measure uh, the absolute pressure of air and uh, provides ranges between 300 and 100, uh, 1100 uh, uh, pascals and uh, it provides also the altitude and the temperature and uh, the altitude depends or you can set the altitude depending on your location and the nice or the interesting thing here is that you, uh, it's using the I2C interface so it uses basically two, two signals. Also we have the radiation sensor, with this uh, sensor we can measure uh, the ultraviolet light and in this specific sensor the GUVA S12SD it's uh, an analog interface and provides uh, measurements for line ranges between 240 and 360 nanometers and uh, uh, there's an equivalence between the, the measured value and the UV index so we can use this sensor uh, to, to as, a, as a way to measure the kind of radiation we are receiving in our, in our environment. And obviously there are many other kind of sensors that we can use in IoT applications like uh, RFID uh, car readers, camera or different kind of uh, contact or barrier sensors too. Okay, but this presentation was intended to, to describe the kind of sensors that we can use in our home automation or our greenhouse or weather station uh, projects. Okay, so thank you very much for your presentation and we are, I hope to see you in, in my next presentation too. Thank you.